Jina langu ni Kaspar Pedro. Uh, mimi nafanya kazi na shirika la Fair Trade Africa. Uh, kama uh, kiongozi katika um, uh, representative wa Eastern Central Africa uh, Network. Kwamba Fair Trade uh, uh, ni system ambaye uh, is uh, uh, working towards promoting fair trade inclusion in um, in, in trade uh, fairness in trade uh, focusing on producers of uh, various commodities uh, tea uh, coffee flowers uh, fruits vegetables nakadalika um, so uh, our work is mainly to ensure that uh, across the supply chain that uh, there is fairness um, and there's value for the production process and ensuring that the farmers particularly earn decent livelihood from their production. Mano Hili, we are trying to focus more on uh, finding a partnership and collaboration between uh, fair trade as a system uh, with East Africa Trading, um, uh, the Tea Trading Association. Uh, we are trying to look at co uh, where we can find common grounds in terms of uh, issues uh, related to the producers, but also issues related to the whole supply chain, the market accessibility for our producers, um, understanding uh, what can actually we, what we can actually address together as, as, as uh, uh, organisations that have common interest within the tea trading uh, and supply chain. Um, just to improve what we're doing in the past, now uh, ensure that. Um, <coughs> Yes, uh, actually one of our biggest um, objectives is to increase, increase our, market, our market access to our, to our producers. So right now we know that, uh, for instance, uh, our uh, market in the UK is not as big as we expect and, and of course we would like to increase the volume of uh, supply. And, and so we are looking beyond uh, just the UK market. We are looking into increasing that supply into uh, not just Pakistan, we are looking at uh, going beyond that, we are looking at Asia, we are looking at Japan, we are looking at Korea. But also, uh, more importantly, uh, we are looking within our own continent, Africa. Um, a lot of times uh, when you look at uh, uh, fair trade certified products, we have mostly been supplying the north uh, or the northern uh, global market. And, and we are saying no, uh, especially with the increase in the uh, mid class, uh, we are saying, uh, the population is saying, can we um, look into our own uh, environment and, and, and increase our sales uh, within the continent? Uh, we actually saw that uh, Africa uh, free trade uh, area is, is now quite an opportunity. Are you saying, what about West Africa? Isn't there a possible opportunity for us to try as much as possible to, to, to get that connection, trade connection between us and West Africa, between us here in Southern Africa? Um, and, and beyond. So the traditional market for fair trade products, especially tea, uh, is okay and we are also looking at such opportunities but much more important to our society, what about within our own uh, continent? So yes, beyond, uh, Pakistan is one country uh, but we are also looking within uh, the continent and to be more flexible especially for the producers that have already secured market, direct market, that they do not have to go through the, the auction. Uh, it's actually very important because uh, these are already uh, determined market and, and, and so uh, taking the, 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 the products through the, the auction uh, may not necessarily be for the greater value of the community. So this is one area that we're trying to work on uh, towards engaging the government and we'll see how uh, there could be a little bit around. But the fact is that when you get to engage with the fair trade brands as, as a, a voluntary certification uh, standard, uh, our quality has always been uh, assured right from the producer, from the farmer level, uh, to the trader, uh, to the trader and to the market. That and and, and we that supply chain uh, within the fair trade standards is always assured. As a matter of fact, our standards are always above uh, the, the normal, uh, you know, products are sold on the convention uh, processes. So uh, we we have. We have the ability to ensure, and I think the most important thing is to engage with the government and bring that trust um, that what 
we are going to be uh, you know, uh, supporting in terms of the access to market, uh, direct market, is already assured through the fair trade standards. Yeah, the cost of, of certification is a, a, a good, uh, um, it's actually a big uh, uh, issue um, and uh, we uh, recognize the challenges that the producers go through, um, but at this point we are working towards addressing it. It might take a little longer, but we actually are quite interested in ensuring that the producers do not incur the cost that they does not come back uh, to, 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 the, you know, to add value to, uh, to, to the production process. So this is a conversation that we are having and a couple of you know, producers have actually raised it and we are saying let us look into it. Uh, we know that it's uh, once, the, um, as long as the producers actually have a, a, an assured market, normally the, the cost is not so high. Uh, if you're talking about the volume that actually sold under uh, fair trade terms, the higher the volume, the easier they will actually be able to manage. We have got to license the products. What am I saying? Um, for you to be able to get the product into market uh, as a final product is a, does not be given a label. For it to be given a label, um, it has got to be licensed by Fed. So we are licen licensing as many organizations as possible. These are all different buyers that some of them are fair trade, some are not. 